welcome to my channel my name is Anya and today's video is probably the most disappointing video in the project pan update so far I am annoyed at myself that face sort of sums up my feeling for the entire month of July I feel like a broken record because I, I think I've said this in at least a video every single month that I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and that's true but it's not by choice and especially this month some of the stuff that I've struggled with have involved hand pain and I haven't been able to wear a lot of the makeup that I've wanted to wear which has been makeup more like this lighter makeup no foundation playing with color correctors and glossy shiny looking skin because that's what I'm into at the moment but that involves for me at least using my hands a lot and my hands have been really really painful and it's just it's not been possible. I'm sorry if you can hear the noises outside. Today was apparently the day um, the maintenance people decided to mow the lawns. Uh, I was hoping that they were going to be done on this side, which is the side out to the parking lot. It's about 2.30 at the moment. They started at 7.30 this morning. And granted, they do have a fairly large area to cover. It sounds like they're coming back. And if they are, I'm going to have to just come back later. But I haven't worn a lot of makeup. I do have a couple of empties as well as one declutter. So I'm just going to, as usual, start with the stuff that I finished. My only true empty in the sense is the Art Deco Long Lasting Shadow Stick. This is in 08 and it was a rose gold shadow and I can't twist it up anymore. This is too old for me to want to dig into it. I'm done with it. Finally, it took too long, honestly. It is a product I have enjoyed and I've been getting more into rose gold eyeshadow. It's a colour that I always love wearing and I think it always looks so beautiful on me. But I always forget about it. And this year, because I've been planning this and also because of the Wet n Wild palette in the project, I've been wearing rose gold eyeshadow a lot more and I really, really enjoy it. I'm a bit sad now that this is gone, but I have other shadows that are very, very similar, both in cream and powder form, so I will be continuing to wear rose gold eyeshadow. I've started making a list, this is off topic completely, I've started making a list of videos that I want to film this year because I am stuck on a couple of them. Um, and I just thought about it now, I don't think I've filmed a rose gold eyeshadow look in a couple of years. So I might I might do that. Another one that I can't use anymore is the Stila Glitterin Glow in Smoldering Satin. This is too dry. I remember playing with this this past weekend and it's so dry. I ended up with glitter all over my face and I just can't, I can't get it to work anymore. So I'm gonna sadly have to go, let go of that. I have a lot of these smaller Stila ones and they, they're good for about a year to two years maximum. And mine are coming up to that one, all of them. So I have another one that I'm gonna add in and I'm sort of going through the list. I've ha I think I have swatched all of them on my hand fairly recently. And I've started with, I'm gonna introduce the one that is driest and I'm gonna continue that down that list until they're gone. And then I will probably repurchase because I do love them. And this is a sh shade that is absolutely gorgeous. My favorite shade is probably still Bronze Spell, which I finished last year, but this is, it's a brown, like a, I don't, don't know, slightly cool toned brown, but it has a lot of silver glitter and it is so pretty and so sparkly when it is usable. I might actually, in the future, um, because Stila tends to come out with this smaller sets of these shades around Christmas, I might buy another one, depending on how many I have left by like next year buy some in January if there are any left then it's my declutter and I think if you followed the project pan it's not a surprise the it cosmetics CC cream it has got to go I have fought with this I've tried to make it work and I'm just I'm admitting to myself that this does not work for me it does not work for my skin if this had looked good on my face I would have loved this because this is something that I've been sort of looking for this year because this is a fairly hydrating foundation or CC cream and it has a decent amount of coverage. I think this gives me about medium coverage which is perfectly fine for me and I can work with that but on me this just looks very very heavy and it emphasizes texture and dryness. If it hadn't done that I would have loved this. I'm gonna give this to my sister to try if she wants to. She prefers tinted moisturizers and those types of products and she ha also has a skin tone that is slightly darker than mine because this in the shade fair is too dark for me and then I have the stuff that I have progress on I'm gonna start with the two most disappointing products that I didn't finish Becca first light I said I was gonna finish this this month and I really thought I would because there is 
barely anything left. You can't see, but I've held this up to the light multiple times today. I think I have two uses left. The lawnmower is coming closer. I don't like the lawnmowers that they use. I can't close the window either because it's 20 degrees today, which is too hot for me. They're just, they're just so loud and I don't like them. This was one that I thought I would finish and I've held this up to the light and there's like nothing left in here, but there is product left. I used it today, it's fine, and I actually thought about, started thinking this thought yesterday and it's that I'm gonna miss a product like this when I've finished it. I have another illuminating primer in my collection that I'm gonna finish once I'm done with this, but I'm going to miss a product like that when it, they're gone because I've really started enjoying using them. I, I put the backlight priming filter into my cart at Sephora. I haven't made a purchase from Sephora in a year. I've been thinking about that primer for a couple of days and I put it in my cart last night. I'm not gonna purchase it at this time because no buy and all that. But I've been thinking it's a product that I miss and I will miss having something like this that is really nice and illuminating without being a liquid highlighter. And I've even started looking at alternatives to these Becca ones because I'm not gonna buy this first light primary filter. It's fine, but I don't like it. But I also don't think I'm gonna buy the Becca one or, or the backlight one because my issue with these Becca ones is A, that they don't work under foundation, but that's fine because I've been enjoying using them with color corrector, which is what I'm wearing today. But this pills on my skin with color corrector. I have to be very careful when putting color corrector on because it will pill off, but it works. It still works even though I end up with a lot of like tiny bumps and stuff that's peeled off my face on my hands once I have blended it out. It looks, it looks good. So I'm sort of at that space, do I want to buy the Becca highlighter in the full size or am I going to try something else? I've been thinking about the NYX ones and the Milani um, one that Julia Adams uses. I can't remember the names of either of them. But I've been thinking about those because they are cheaper. Becca is pricey and along with being pricey I would have to pay import tax and duties because I'm buying them from outside of Norway but the Milani and the NYX I can get from Norway so they're going to be cheaper anyway and it's one of those ones that because these Becca ones I've been like yeah they're fine but I'm not going to buy them again I don't I'm they're fine I, but I don't love them but I think I actually do like it which is it's it's a turn, but this will be done by next time because I have two uses left and I, I actually think I'm going to miss it. And then it's the BH Brow Pencil. This was like a gimme product, which is a product that doesn't have a lot of product left that it's easy to finish and, you know, this was going to be gone this month. This for me was one of the brow pencils I tested when I did a um, brow pencil, like a showdown review. I tested five different pencils. This was my least favorite because the color is not red enough for me. It's a fair, it's a brown with no redness in it. It just doesn't work for me. It's very close to my natural brow colors. It like, it suits my brows, but I don't want that. This is another one that I'm going to force myself to finish in August. I think I'm going to be done with it in like three uses. So gonna be three bad brow days. I forgot to mention the weight on the Becca primer. It's lost two grams. My Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer has lost five grams. This is a primer that is fine. It's just like adding a layer of moisture. This says it smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies and protects. No. It adds a bit of moisture and it's fine but it's not a primer that I'm gonna buy again. It's not a primer that does anything I want because if I want something that adds moisture, I am going to use a moisturizer. I'm gonna finish it. I like it enough to finish, but for me this is just like a meh primer. I have progress on my setting spray. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. This is now 74 grams down from 83, so it's lost almost 10 grams. I like it, but this bottle was nearly full, so I think it's gonna take me a couple of months to finish it, but I do enjoy it. This is one of my favorites and I do want this gone, hopefully before the end of the year, and I'm gonna work towards that. And it's just one that it's, it's really good. It doesn't mattify the skin but it locks makeup in place and I just I like it a lot which makes me sad that Rimmel isn't cruelty free but alas I have progress on the Insta Duo contour stick also from Rimmel the bronzer line I've smushed and flattened the top I'm wearing this today 
mixed with a blush and on my forehead. And then I have the highlighter stick, which I'm not wearing today, but has seen a tiny bit of use. The bronzer side is now 2.8 centimeters down from 3.1, and the highlighter is 2.9 centimeters down from 3.1. So it's slow and steady progress, but I have only used this a handful of times, like four times and I'm seeing fairly decent amount of progress already. What I have discovered, this is a fairly, it's like a sh slightly sheer product, but it's very emollient. So when I go to use it, I end up getting a lot of product out, but not a lot of darkness in terms of color, which is perfect for me. And I really like it. The highlighter for me is just fine. I don't notice that it adds a whole lot of like color because it is fairly close to my skin tone but it adds a decent amount of shine and I like it. So I don't think this is gonna be hard to finish. The final two products I have updates on is the Mega Mac Lip Liner on Point in the shade number five. I have used this, I think twice and it's fine. This is a color that I used to use paired with a different lip product so that I wouldn't see this color a lot. This is very cool toned like a mauvey cool toned purpley tone. It is not a, a colour that I wear a lot. I prefer reds and browns and more neutrals and nudes on me. Not so much these kinds of cool tone shades, but it is 1.6 centimetres down from 1.8, so progress is progress, and I do think um, I will get through this. Maybe not in August, but September, before, before Halloween. That's the goal. I also have progress on the Maybelline Baby Lips. This is in Cafe Mocha. I use this mostly as blush. I don't really like this on the lips. It's too light and too thin, so it just disappears. But as a blush, it's a really nice sort of neutral, slightly pinky brown color. And it gives a really nice glossy shine because it is a really shiny lip gloss. But I've been enjoying it as blush. You can see how shiny it is. And that's how I have the progress I have. It's 2.4 centimeters down from 2.6. And I'm getting really close to that goal line. My goal is to use half of the three and a half centimeters for product. I have not yet decided if this is gonna be a product that I'm gonna just hold on to for the rest of the year and see how far I can get, or if I'm gonna stop when I reach my goal. I don't have a cream blush that is this color. I have lip products that are is this color, but none of them are this glossy. Haven't decided. I will probably make that decision once I get there, but I'm really, really happy with the progress. And then I have the products I'm adding in. For the It Cosmetics CC Cream, I'm replacing it with Rimmel Lasting Finish with Comfort Serum. This is in the shade 100 Ivory. This is too dark for me, so I am gonna have to mix this with a white mixer. But I love this on the face. It looks so good and I really like it. It gives me medium to full coverage and it looks it looks amazing and it wears really well. So it's just one I want to finish because it is getting fairly old. This weighs 112 grams. It's the heaviest thing in here, but it's because this is a glass bottle, so it, it weighs a lot. But I hope to get some decent progress on this. The Stila Glitter and Glow I'm adding in is actually a highlighter. This is in the shade Monarch and it's a highlighter. It has a light pink base with like a pinky, green purpley shimmer it's really pretty and it's kind of like a sheer base and i've taken the stopper out because it's the easiest thing to do to get product i'm gonna swatch and see if i can get something that shows off the color of this because the base color on this is almost it looks almost clear once it's on the eyes i wouldn't use this on me as a highlighter it's the one at the bottom here because it's too glittery but I love this just topping up the eyes if I'm wearing a lighter eyeshadow because it adds fun coloured glitters and <laughs> I like it. It is a mini and I do hope to finish it. I don't have a fair amount of product left but this is still creamy and usable so I'm going to see how much I can finish before it dries out. And then I'm adding a lip liner. I noticed that my pink lip liner category was empty. I forgot to add this in last month. But I remembered today. So the pink lip liner category has been empty for a bit, but I'm adding the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner in Addiction. It is sort of like a nude, neutrally colour. On me this reads more pink than nude because I prefer my nudes more brown toned. This is a product that I see myself using as a lipstick, not necessarily layering things on top because it feels kind of thick. I'm trying to minimise my collection, obviously, but I'm working on getting rid of this stuff. First and foremost, that's the oldest, that's like the first things I pick from. And then I go to work on anything that isn't cruelty free, which is why I have a lot of Rimmel in here because Rimmel was one of my favorite brands and I can't buy from them anymore. I haven't since I chose 
to only buy cruelty free makeup or try to only buy cruelty free makeup um, to the best of my ability and I have a lot of their makeup and I want to try and finish as much of it as I can and as you've heard me say I like a lot of their makeup a lot so I hope you enjoyed the video did you do better than me this month in terms of finishing products or are you really happy or non not happy with the progress you made tell me in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye